back to Tritool Technologies. Today we're going to do a quick video on the flange spacer and the double manual attachment for a 208 e beveler. Standard configuration, all we have to do is remove our tool blocks and we'll be adding the flange spacer attachment. This will be uh, capable to go ahead and put the record finishes on raised face, flat face, or a recessed plate face flange. It will have two trippers on it, where you can do the 125 and the finish. The same attachments are available for a smaller uh, 204 and the large 214. What comes in the attachment kit right here is you have the flange spacer itself, the two, two tripper mechanisms, uh, your tools, and the ratchet. Now we got our attachment on. There's six uh, cap screws that tighten that on to the face plate. We went ahead and got one tripper put on. This is your tripper mechanism that engages and disengages with a pin, one on each side. So we would run uh, one tripper for the 125 and two trippers for the 250 finish for the gasket surface. So we're going to use an elbow mandrel um, on our flanges. This can be used for elbows or fittings, but with weld neck flanges, you want to use an elbow mandrel so your uh, feet don't contact where the weld is and you can be straight. You can gauge the scoring plate. Make sure your arms on the scoring plate are touching off on the flange. Remove our scoring plate. Choose your tool bit. It'll be dog-legged, so it's on the inside or the outside, depending on the diameter of the flange. When your tool bit's in place, we'll get ready to make a cut to show you the finish. We got our mounted, machine mounted on here. On the elbow mandrel, I touched off with that tool bit. Um, make a 10 thousandths pass, just to uh, go over top of that raised face where there was damage. So that's our pass that we made over top of there. If you had a little bit more damage or if it was warped, you can go ahead and take another pass until you're completely cleaned up.